Hello there. One automotive system that I decided I want to briefly discuss is the EGR systems. Uh, on older vehicles this is known as smog uh, and newer systems uh, probably well, I would say the uh, maybe 90s models uh, in that range probably late 80s uh, not specifically sure but uh, anyway uh, both systems basically do the same thing and today it's referred to as EGR or exhaust gas recirculation system and the uh, you'll find that there's always a disadvantage and an advantage to having something so uh, first talking about the disadvantage to these systems is high mileage is going to accumulate a carbon buildup and this comes this is due to the fact that fuel is not burning 100% in your engine. It's leaving, always leaving behind hydrocarbons. Uh, and when this gets taken from the exhaust back to the intake manifold, this, it, the sticky gas, the sticky carbon is uh, actually accumulating. Uh, it can, this, it's accumulating in the throttle body and it's also it's also accumulating in uh, any EGR components, your EGR valve or um, your vacuum lines or vacuum hoses uh, that attach the EGR system or EGR system together. And over several thousands of miles, it's it's just gonna it's gonna block the system. It has a high potential of blocking the system, and you get insufficient flow in the system, sets the check engine light off. Um, the advantage to this system is it's burning the gas a second time actually. Uh, it's helping to reduce the combustion chamber temperature and it's uh, overall it's, it's saving you gas uh, to a small degree uh, because it's burning your exhaust gas a second time so it doesn't have to use more fresh fuel to uh, power the vehicle. Uh, and you're all, it's also reducing the emissions. Um, the uh, now as far as the carbon accumulation of the system uh, I hate to say it but it's uh, something you're really I don't think you're ever going to get away from it um, even if you run a higher octane fuel uh, it doesn't seem like it's going to be it, it's, it's going to happen no matter what uh, fuel just never burns 100% it, it's never, never going to do it to my knowledge and uh, it, it's going to happen. You're going to have the carbon accumulate in there. Um, the uh, EGR valves are made of different designs. Some have electronic parts integrated into them, positioning sensors and uh, pressure sensors are integrated into them. Um, Mazda, one I can think of off the top of my head, and maybe some Toyotas. Hondas are uh, on the uh, use this design too. Most of them, most of the Hondas. And uh, Ford, uh, the system com the system components are, are separate. The solenoid pressure sensor and the valve are all separate components usually. Uh, Chevrolet, I believe, is the, most of the domestic vehicles they have uh, separate components. Um, but a good a good precaution to take uh, to keep up with this maintenance or keep up with this uh, stay on top of this whole carbon issue is to uh, maybe take the take the system off or take the, at least the valve off and uh, use maybe some sort of a carbon cleaner through the system uh, uh, maybe every uh, uh, not every tune up but um, uh, when uh, you notice uh, maybe if the chicken light does come on it this can it, it can take several thousands of miles for it to happen but uh, if you have a hundred thousand miles on the vehicle, it, it's a good idea to, to consider uh, having it cleaned, having the EGR system cleaned. Uh, fuel injector cleaners are, I don't think they're gonna, really going to do a good job. It usually has to be probably flushed, if anything, in some sort of way. And so, uh, carbon is going to block the passage up over time, and you're, it's going to have to be just checked often. Is a uh, is basically what it comes down to. Uh, EGR systems do have their advantage and it, it helps to 
reduce fuel fuel and emission fuel consumption and emissions, but it also has this disadvantage. So I wanted to talk about this because it seems to it seems to have a lot of questions from automotive do-it-yourselfers. So uh, you can uh, view more information on my website, and uh, I will talk about another topic uh, in the near future.